Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, Tobin and I are going on a little photo shoot. We have been in quarantine for... Too long. Too I don't long. even know how long. Who knows? Um, we, we are heading out. Um, I am going to show you guys a tutorial on how I did this hair and makeup look right now. All right guys, we are in my bathroom. Messy bun and robe and all. I posted a photo on Instagram and I'm gonna do a quick tutorial on this really glowy, bronzy, natural, flawless skin look. Um, right now, I just have this NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer in Groenland. I don't even know what that word is. And I just got a little angle foundation brush and I'm just packing that in and putting a nice thin layer of that on. So something that I did that I realized made a huge difference in my makeup application was dermaplaning. So I dermaplaned not last night, but the night before I posted that photo. It made the biggest difference in how the makeup applied. So if you guys want tutorial on how I do that, I do it probably about once a week. These are the dermaplaning blades I use from Dermaplus. And they just fold out like so. And then it just sloughs off everything and it's amazing. Okay. The Too Faced completely worn off with the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. Which I'm just gonna do one, two, one, two. And then I'm gonna go little itty bitty dots for a little highlight through here. And a little bit around the mouth. I have this older, oh! I have this older um, foundation brush that I just don't use for foundation anymore. Now I use it for liquid blush. And I've got this NARS liquid blush in Luster love 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 this it has a really really gorgeous peachy color let me show you what it looks like here cute big fluffy brush this is the real technique blush brush it's a massive blush brush so I actually use it for bronzer so about the hourglass luminizing bronze light you guys know I love this stuff um, it just has such a glowy quality. I'm going to go under the jawline and then get, so you see this line right there? I want to draw bronzer in through there because it's going to create a really elongating effect. I got this mini of Orgasm by NARS. I think I'm just going to bring that just onto the apple of my cheeks, just really lightly, just to kind of reinforce that color from the cream that's underneath. I'm gonna take Champagne Pop by Becca. We are gonna highlight a very glowy, dewy vibe today. Hmm, a little bit dewy vibe. Okay, and then I'm gonna dip my finger. I'm gonna go Cupid's bow, nose, bridge, eye. Now we're gonna do one of my favorite parts, brows. So I just have a clean spoolie, there's nothing on it. I'm gonna brush through my brows to get any um, excess product out. Um, tinted moisturizer, concealer, anything that might have gotten through there because we're gonna do soap brows. Yes, you heard that right. So, I've got Soap Brows by Kit and Hooks. Um, I actually worked with the founder of Kit and Hooks on um, another shoot, and she is lovely. So, I had to use, or had to get one of her products. So, I just put a little bit of, this is written in German, because Tovin brought this back for me from Austria, but... Just spray anything, you can do Fix Plus by MAC, you can do any sort of like essence or water that you have just to kind of get everything moving. It just thins out the product a little bit. I'm gonna scrape my spoolie in there and then I'm gonna go back. I have found 
through trial and error that doing them back this way kind of deposits all of the soap you guys couldn't even see that could you deposits all of the soap into the brow and then from there we're gonna brush up and then as you get towards the edge we're gonna brush out and then from there when you kind of get that shape that you like we're gonna press just very lightly okay so if you hadn't cleaned and used a clean spoolie to get any product like leftover foundation or concealer out of your brows you would get like you would see product build up in the soap it's not a good look so we got a soap brow now I'm gonna do the other side for my hair I'm just doing these really funky like irregular kind of curls and I'm doing them more for like a wave because I just want to add texture to my hair Okay, so see I kind of have this curl going towards the front, and I'm going to take the other half, and I'm going to go away. Okay, so see how it kind of curls forward, and then it curls back? Looks hella weird now. See, when you brush it out, you get these kind of like lived-in waves, and it just makes it look so much more natural, like you kind of woke up that way. I haven't added any product to it yet, but I'm going to add some texture spray. So we'll do this one like towards. See, I just want like a bend in the hair. That is something that you hear a lot of on set. I just want a bend, just a soft bend in the hair. My hair is still kind of sweaty from my workout. It's disgusting. Okay. It looks really good. up to let it like cool in the shape that I want it to be in right so does that make sense so watch I'm gonna do this hair is still hot so I'm gonna lift it and kind of like bend it in the way that I want so that once it's cooled kind of is encouraged to be in that shape just like that lots of edges out if you have like stick straight hair I would recommend either going to sleep with it wet and in maybe a loose braid or doing this with your hair when it's kind of a couple days old, not super clean, um, and adding some texture spray to it before and then maybe brushing through it. I'm just going to use dry shampoo on the roots, I'm gonna flip it over. I kind of part it, lift, spray, part, lift, spray. Alright, so now I'm just going to spray the crap out of this with Verb C Texture Spray. And the trick is to lift. need a little texture spray up at the front because my hair will just fall into my face. Do that. And that's the way it looks down the middle. Kind of bedhead vibes. A little messy. 
can play with it. Gets lots of volume. There's the light we've been wanting. Hello, welcome back. You just saw how I did this hair and makeup. We are gonna head into Tiburon, which is basically the town um, or little city before you go across the Golden Gate Bridge. And we're just gonna find a pretty spot to go snap some photos and just be away from the realities of the world. <laughs> So for dinner, I had chicken breast that I had already cooked. And so I just heated that up in a pan with some of this fermented chili paste and loosened it up with some soy sauce, rice wine vinegar, um, and a little bit of sesame oil. So that's what the chicken is coated in. And then this is a mixture of brown rice and quinoa that I zhuzhed up with a little bit of miso and chicken stock. And then we've got cabbage, kale, and shredded carrot um, that was just sauteed in avocado oil on really high heat. So that's dinner. We are really running low on what we have in the fridge. So, wow, what's happening here? We are really running low with what's in the fridge. So this is just kind of my attempt to not waste any food and kind of throw everything together. It's a mixture of leftovers and veggies that I didn't want to go bad. So we will be going to the grocery store either tomorrow or Sunday, but until then, meals are looking a lot like this. I feel like we probably have it, we're just not symptomatic. Because <laughs> I don't know how you can't not have it. I know. That's kind of what it Did feels you get like, some? huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, I would for it. Good, before you touch me. <laughs> you need to samnitize. Samnitize! <laughs> before you touch me. Um, Dark chocolate, caramel peanut butter, nougat bars. Unreal. Are they? We'll see. We're going to find out. <gasps> It's about to bounce, bounce. <laughs> All right. Bread. We go through this like crazy. What was over there? Hey, you're talking to someone. Yeah. I <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> Correct. Tell me something I don't know. <laughs> okay, milk for Tobin's coffees. I should put. New stuff in the back because I treat our fridge like the store. The unopened stuff goes back there. Okay, scallions. We're gonna make pad thai this week. Turkey. Um, we've got, yep, ground turkey for turkey chili. More eggs. Sprouts. Bean sprouts for pad thai. Chicken thighs. Four things. Uh, Greek yogurt for berries and granola. We need more miso. You guys know I love cooking with miso. Butter. Some cheese for sandwiches. Our cheese drawer is maxed out. Yeah, it's been maxed out. <laughs> we gotta eat some cheese. Yep, smoked salmon. We've got stuff for like Italian sandwiches. We've got like soprasada, dry salami, mortadella. Um, they were out of my wild bride kimchi that I love, so this looked the most similar of what they had left, but they're kimchi um, radishes, so I'm very interested. I'll let you guys know how that tastes, but that's the brand. We'll see. You guys know I don't stray from my wild bride kimchi. I'm a little nervous. Just a little bit. Until you're forced off the path. Exactly. Okay, and then cauliflower, can we do roasted cauliflower? We've got some berries, Tobes. Oh, I guess you're not making scones anymore. They were totally out of flour. I think everyone is baking during this time. Um, 
broccoli. I'm gonna make a raw broccoli salad um, that is super yummy. I got a lot of broccoli. I'm trying to up my raw veg game. Thanks for your help. Yeah. Shallot and what? You just wanted a little pinch. <sighs> Is that so, not okay? It's so little. There's so much more. It just broke up. It's so little. Oh. Yeah. Love me and my cider. <laughs> Beer. <laughs> if you guys are wondering how two people could possibly consume this much in about a week. Yeah, we'll talk to you on Wednesday. Challenge Probably accepted. <laughs> Those are, um, we love these hash browns. So you get those to save in the freezer. Good. Hey, well, let's see more second guys. These were the three large sweet potatoes? No, there were no <laughs> large ones, so I got you five small ones. You sassy. <laughs> Um, so for my lunch, I have fresh basil and grape tomatoes, cucumber, some feta, and quinoa. And I have it dressed with just a good aged balsamic and some olive oil and some shredded rotisserie chicken that I grabbed from Whole Foods. Oh, I forgot. I added lots of salt, fresh cracked pepper, and an Italian seasoning blend just to zhuzh it up. And on the gorilla... Don't, don't look at my crap photo equipment. <laughs> yeah. You're not allowed to see how janky this is going to be. It's pretty janky. Best view in there. <laughs> look at this. Look at, why is her leg bent? Look at it from over here. No, no, look. When you can see her toe. Why is that so weird? I don't know. Phoebe, your leg is jacked up. Phoebe, what are you doing? Oh my gosh. This view right here, though, is so good. So Tobin had this idea. He literally like woke up this morning and was like, I have a photo idea in my head. Like, let's, we'll try to figure it out. Yeah, so we're going to do basically like this shot of me in water. And it's got like really bold brows and a bold lip. Um, just kind of fully submerged in water and then kind of like coming out of it. So it'll be very like glossy and yeah I don't know we'll see how it turns out so I'm literally gonna be in the bathtub <laughs> just like this cheese <laughs> art art <laughs> so artsy fartsy get creative people you yeah. You can you can create something with <laughs> in a bathroom that's um three feet wide. <laughs> yep, there we go. That's our set. That's our set. And Oops. our sun is our is our light. Is our light. <laughs> yeah, I'm using some bar of soap to collect. <laughs> we make the water make murky. The water. We want it like cloudy. Yeah, and that's perfect. It is working. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's exactly what I wanted. Yeah. Go full Merc. Well, we got the shot. We got some shots. <laughs> See what happens. Oh my gosh. That was crazy. Mmm. We didn't just have a makeout session. No. <laughs> that's just... That's just... From Probably trial and not. error. And an artist's vision. You know? But also, this is a test that um, the ABH brow definer is pretty waterproof. That worked out very well. And I'm wearing the NARS Radiant um, Longwear Foundation. And long wear it is. It worked pretty well. This isn't a photo shoot. This is just a makeup review. All right. I know. I've never looked better. Gotta go.
quarantine shoot number three <laughs> um that one just like the other outdoor one it's or just in general it's hard to get behind the scenes footage when it's just us two because obviously i'm a little busy and he's a little busy but we do what we can you get to see our journey to and from yeah a lot of driving <laughs> shoot. yeah it's great We'll go home. Tobes has some work to do. I have some editing to do. Um, and, you know, we have some other things to get done, but we will go through and look at all of the selects. like a mini stroke in the middle of your tongue. muscles give us this day our daily muscles <laughs> pull-ups okay. push-ups cores cores can be any kind of core okay it could be a v-up it could be a, core, a crunch it could be a plank all right we are cooking dinner we've got quarantine chili getting ready on the stove um, I'm just browning some ground turkey I've got some red and yellow onion and beans are rinsed in the sink and um, I will post the recipe in the description box. It is not my own. It is by Bon Appetit and it's delicious. Um, continuing from this morning, daily muscles have been, um, <laughs> we have tallied up. So we did a like, uh, we did a yoga flow earlier. So that had like some chaturangas and we finished with some core and then I have to do my second set of six pull-ups. You got it. I can do it. Ready? They're not gonna look very good, but it's okay. Six, five, four, <laughs> three, three. Come on. There's a cider waiting for you. One more, come on. Give me all the energy I needed. Come on. Yeah! You've done it. I did it. Go me. Victory, daily muscles. Check.
that is going to conclude this week's vlog um, it's definitely been kind of a roller coaster of feelings Tobin and I are both technically you know freelance creatives so we do a lot of work from home so it wasn't a super crazy transition at first but then I think after the first week and a half nearing two weeks it started to feel really isolated and weird there are definitely really good days and then there are days that are not that great but one thing that we're taking away from this is just being patient with ourselves and the days that don't feel super great i guess we can kind of decide how to handle that and if it means we're just going to focus on being active that day and maybe not as productive with work then that's gonna be our win for the day. So just being patient and not as hard on ourselves and I advise you guys to do the same. And to any of you that are out there working the front lines and you are in hospitals and you are in ambulances and firefighters, police officers, grocery store workers, um, any of the essential workers out there, thank you so much for everything that you're doing. You're doing it so that we can stay home and be safe and you are so appreciated. So that is it for this week and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.